You know, I got carried away. I wanted to please the fans, you know. I wanted to go toe to toe, and it was working, you know. We were going to toe to toe. He was, I was catching me with punches. He was catching me with punches, and the fans loved it. That's what I did. But then my dad told me to be smart, not to do that, and we started boxing. Leo, you said you thought uh, that the left hook or one of the body shots would end it, uh, but it ended up being the right hand. Uh, was that just, uh, you were just trying to set him up with that? Yeah, I was trying, you know, the right hand to hurt him, the uppercut hurt him. I was going to go to the body, but you know, the body, he's, he's short, so he was going down. He was blocking the body shot, so I said, oh, that's not going to work, so I'm going to go with the right and the uppercut. Was that a problem that he was short? He seemed like he was coming in with his head, things like that. You were trying to get him off you. Was that like becoming a problem in the fight? Yeah, totally was. Yeah, you know, uh, he's shorter and I, ha I have problems with short people. I don't really like short, short people, but you know, I'm going to work in the gym uh, with a lot of short people and I'm going to make it easier for me. Yeah. Uh, Carl Frampton won today, obviously. I don't know if you know, but he won today. Uh, is that maybe the next choice for you? You think you're going to go there next? Of course, you know, he won. Uh, he wants to move up in weight. I'm ready for him, so I, I want to... I challenge him. I'm ready for him and to come and fight me. Yeah. Did you see that yeah. fight by chance before you got here? No, nah, I was just listening to it because you know I, I was in the hotel room and I didn't have show time. I was trying to look, watch it, but I was reading on Twitter and uh, I was listening right there that the Frampton the Fram was winning easily. Yeah. Did you want to fight the way you fought in those first few rounds? Because I noticed that you were kind of fighting against the ropes. No, I think I, I'm gonna do, uh, with them. I'm gonna be a smart. I'm gonna do a smarter fight. You know, right here I want to please the fans, but over there against them is more. Uh, it's gonna mean more. That fight is gonna be more, so I can't risk nothing. So I'm gonna go out there since the first one. I'm gonna do my um, my game plan. And I'm gonna be really smart. No, but with uh, Kiko, oh, yeah. did you feel because you heard him, it kind of changed uh, up how you wanted to fight him? Yeah, of course. Yeah, you know, I went inside. I heard him inside. So I said, oh, over here I could finish him really fast. So I said I'm gonna go straight at him and I'll try to finish him up. And the fans are gonna love that because we're we're going toe to toe. So I said. If I'm gonna go right, but he he's really strong fighter. He was able to take the punches, and uh, then my dad told me to be smart, not to be dumb and stay there and get those punches. He said move and box him. That I could win him easily like that, and that's what we did. Yeah, because uh, we were noticing here on press row if either you got tired or you were kind of pacing yourself. Yeah, no, I, mean, I was like right there, you know, pacing myself. And in the first round, yeah, I did. Maybe I threw more than I had to, but you know, we we got our second one really fast, and then we started doing what we had to do. How close were you to, to finishing it in the first round, do you think? I was really close, you know, but he was smart. He, he got a tight guard. I couldn't catch him clearly again. And, but, you know, he survived the round and he came stronger. Leo, you are more athletic and longer. Why would you stay in the pocket the whole fight? I wanted to please the fans, you know. Uh, I wanted to stay there because if we went to war, we make it a war toe-to-toe, -to -toe, the fans, that's what they love. You know, you hurt them, they got excited because he was catching me with good punches, I was catching me with good punches. I know it's not smart of me, but, you know, I wanted to please the fans. Mexican style, yeah, of course. Yeah, Mexican style, I wanted to please the fans, and that's what I did. Ah, no, amor, en el primer round este, me, me solté más de lo que debía, pensé que lo iba a acabar y se me fue el aire poquito, pero luego lo, lo, lo recuperamos y e hicimos lo que teníamos que hacer, no tuvimos con buena condición y subimos lo que teníamos que hacer. Yeah, you know, I expect him to, you know, I expect every fighter to come tough. You know, when they get an opportunity against me, I know they're going to come with everything. And Kiko said it, he said that this was his last opportunity, he, that he was going to come with everything. And I expected that. I expected for him to come a for hard fight, and that's why we trained really hard, too. Do you want Frampton yeah. the most? Yeah, I, I think so. Yeah, you know, he's a tough fighter. He won. He's Right now, he's on the top. He's one of the best, and he wants to move up in weight. So I'm, I'm ready for him, man. If not, I'm ready for Lisa Obi, Gary Russell. Alo Mancheco, you know, Cuellar, any of those guys, I'm ready. Hopefully one of them is my next fight. You got to make sure you're okay. How tired were you when you were throwing like 50 million punches there? What was going on through your mind? No, I was tired, but you know, I said I'm going to finish him and I did finish him. <laughs>